XFX Smooth Glass Slideshow is a set of plugins that enable an editor to produce beautiful dynamic slideshows by combining media with self-animating glassy bar titles and transitions. Add customizable text elements with built-in color palettes and on-screen controls. In this tutorial, we're going to start from the beginning and build a slideshow using the plugins. I have a couple of images that I'll put on a timeline. You can, of course, use moving video as well. They need to be scaled up so there's enough room on the edge for the animation. The next stage is to make a compound clip of each one. You can do this by right-clicking or use the shortcut Option G. Then from the effects browser, add one of the move effects depending on the direction of travel you want and the timeline frame size. Here we're in 1080. The first clip will be going left and the right clip will move right. You can change the direction and speed in the inspector. A negative number is left, a positive number is right. I'll leave them on the defaults. Now I'll add a title plugin from the title browser and shorten the duration down. There is an on-screen control to position the graphic. Each text plugin has a built-in color palette to select from or use your own colors by selecting the Your Choice option and use the image wells to pick the correct color. As you can see, I need to adjust the travel direction of the text to match the image move. Setting it to minus 10 lines up the animation perfectly. Animating the graphic in is easy. Just select from the four options available. Here I'm going to bring the text in from the right. Now I'm going to add one of the moving glossy bars that will travel across the layers. There are many different ones to choose from, static, growing or shrinking in width. Here I've picked medium strip grow. There are controls for direction and acceleration, controls for zoom and blur of the strip, brightness and tint, edge size, opacity and colour. Adjust to get the effect and timing you're after. Next, I'm going to make a compound clip of those three layers. Then add some text and a glossy bar to the other clip and make that into a compound clip as well. As Final Cut needs media to perform a transition, I'm going to shorten both clips from the middle. Then add a transition from the transition browser. I'll use Center Open. In the inspector, I have the same controls as the strips, but this time with extra width controls. You can see the strips we added in the compound clips really help the overall effect. Finally, I'm going to add another strip over the whole lot. You can get complex moves and wipes by adding as many text effects and glossy bars as you wish. 